discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hi, my name is Jamie Spangler. I'm an assistant professor of biomedical engineering and chemical and biomolecular engineering at Johns Hopkins University. Um, and I'm really excited to talk to you today about some of the research that my lab is doing um, in collaboration with the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. Um, so specifically, uh, my lab is interested in addressing the issue of bone tissue engineering. So bone is actually the second most transplanted tissue in the world, uh, second only to blood. And there's over 2 million bone grafting procedures that go on each year, 1.6 million in the United States alone, costing an expense of over $3 billion. And whereas I'm sure you know many people, right, who give blood regularly, there's a generous supply of that, uh, there's a very limited supply of bone, right? You don't know of people going around donating bone. And in fact, usually the bone grafting procedure comes from one part of your body uh, to another, um, and that can cause a lot of complications. First of all, there's risk of infection um, and risk of damage uh, at the uh, site of the grafting. Um, in addition, uh, it's very uh, costly procedure um, and also the limited supply. Um, and so what people have come up with uh, as an alternative is what's called tissue engineering. What it entails is basically taking a biomaterial scaffold um, and loading that up uh, with stem cells uh, that then require these proteins or growth factors in order to grow and turn into the particular cells that you would want. In this case, you'd want them to turn into bone. Unfortunately, uh, there's been a very serious limitation in the field in, in accomplishing this and uh, in terms of clinical translation of this approach. And the reason for that is that if you incorporate these proteins, they not only stimulate the little graft that you put into somebody's body, but they also stimulate the cells all over your body, which can lead to cancer and other complications. And so our idea um, as protein engineers and protein designers was to actually create these designer proteins um, that would only interact with the scaffold that you put into somebody's body and not interact with any other cells um, in your body. Um, and the idea there was that by creating these, what we call orthogonal uh, protein systems or basically fake proteins, um, we can actually create something that would very specifically and safely uh, be able to stimulate bone growth um, in a human being um, and be a clinically translationally relevant um, application of tissue engineering technology. We really appreciate that Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has supported this work. Um, and this was actually one of my first research grants um, as a starting uh, principal investigator here at Johns Hopkins. And I was really fortunate to have the support to uh, explore an idea um, that was much more bold and risky than many of the ideas uh, that often uh, are explored in science. Um, and I really just appreciate um, having the connections and collaborations that have come through uh, Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. My research uh, in protein engineering has been in a lot of directions, but historically hasn't been in the regenerative medicine space. So it's been really exciting for me to interact with other people in that space um, and to be able to integrate my research. So I really appreciate um, your time and uh, the support accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.